Hello guys, this is exciting. I'm here in the field with this amazing corn. Now corn is an interesting plant because you know, it's, it's actually much more grown than rice and wheat put together. So it's amazing that we have corn in the garden and I'm excited to show you future videos where we harvest the corn and all that. But today I just wanna share one single lesson about corn. And that is before it grows up, as you can see to this height, taller than I am, it has to literally, in a sense, die. And to understand what I mean, uh, let's read this verse together found in uh, John chapter 12, verse 24. There Jesus says, except a corn of wheat. Now it says wheat, but really the translation means any type of grain. Except any type of grain falls into the ground and dies, it's just paraphrase version it's just lonely it's just alone but if it dies it bears much fruit and obviously jesus is speaking about himself he is saying if i don't die then yes i will be forever i'll live forever but i will just be myself there won't be any fruit necessarily we are not going to be saved as humanity but if he dies then many people are going to be saved and that's an invitation to you as well, that because Jesus has died, that you can be saved and I can be saved as well. But here's an even much more uh, deeper calling on this verse or deeper instruction, which is what Jesus says next. He says, except a man lose his life, he cannot find it. So what Jesus is calling us to do is to be like him, to also die unto ourselves, to die to put away our sins and die to that even though it might be hard or whatever just die so that you can bear much fruit and a good example is shown in the story of Lazarus by the way John chapter 12 is really talking about Lazarus here's something interesting I found today so Lazarus caused so much people to believe in Jesus so much so that the chief priests were now planning to also kill <laughs> Lazarus I was like, wow, that's interesting. So we see that in the, in the fact that Lazarus died and resurrected, that made more people believe. In short, it brought much more fruit to God. And so if we die, we can also be present day Lazarus by accepting to die. What I mean by that is accepting whatever comes to us with joy and overcoming like Lazarus did, because really what Lazarus did is he believed in Jesus Christ. And that's why when Jesus said, Lazarus, come forth, he heard the name and came forth. So today I hope that you will hear Jesus' voice as he tells you to die unto him so that when he returns and says, James, come forth, you will hear his voice because you know his voice. Thank you so much and see you in another video. He'll